As 2024 unfolds, SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of space exploration with its groundbreaking Starship program. The successful completion of Flight 4 has set the stage for the much-anticipated Flight 5, which promises significant technological advancements and further progress towards SpaceX's mission to revolutionize space travel. When will it be launched, and what steps will SpaceX take to achieve the next success? These are the questions on everyone's mind. Excitingly, Elon Musk has just revealed key insights about this. Let's get started. We've already seen two amazing flights this year, and the action is just heating up. The next big launch, Flight 5, is approaching faster than expected. Before the last flight, there were signs that things would move quicker. Now Elon Musk himself says Flight 5 could happen in just about a month. That's much sooner than anyone thought. While we don't have an exact date yet, feel free to share your guesses in the comments. It's going to be an exciting July for space fans. The interval between flights has significantly decreased. It took seven months between the first two flights, but that dropped to four months between flights two and three. After flight three, it was less than three months before we saw flight four. Now SpaceX aims to cut that time in half again, hoping to launch flight five in just about a month. Starship's last flight wasn't perfect, and SpaceX needs to make some improvements before the next launch. One important area is the heat shield. This giant shield made of 18,000 special tiles protects the Starship from scorching temperatures during re-entry, which can reach up to 1430 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt aluminum, a metal used in many launch vehicles. To address this, SpaceX has several potential approaches. One method might be to increase the heat shield's thickness, enhancing its heat resistance. However, this would significantly increase the mass of Starship, making it less feasible. A more promising approach involves switching to a more advanced heat shield material that could be lighter yet more effective. Additionally, SpaceX might focus on strengthening the attachment system to ensure a secure connection between the tiles and the Starship as past flights saw some tiles detach during re-entry. Besides improving the heat shield's durability, SpaceX will need to reinforce the ablative protection layer underneath. This ablative layer acts like a backup shield, protecting the ship even if the main tiles get loose or crack. By strengthening both the tiles and the backup layer, SpaceX enhances Starship's chances for a successful next flight. Regarding the booster, I believe it will feature a new hot staging design. In previous upgrades, SpaceX focused on eliminating or simplifying complex, failure-prone components like wiring and nozzles, making the engines more efficient with each flight. However, the necessary reliability has not yet been achieved. During the fourth Starship launch, Super Heavy lost two engines that failed to ignite during ascent and landing. Although this did not affect the success of the flight, SpaceX is likely to further enhance their engines for stable operations and greater power. Upgrading engines is an ongoing process that applies to the entire Raptor engine system, from Raptor 1 to Raptor 2, Raptor 3 and beyond. These optimizations will significantly reduce operational risks, repair, and production times while continuously increasing engine power. Additionally, SpaceX needs to upgrade the internal systems of the vehicle, specifically addressing the issue from Flight 3. The failure of Booster 10's engine was due to a clogged filter obstructing the liquid oxygen path from the fuel tank to the engine, leading to a loss of input pressure in the oxygen turbopump engine. SpaceX upgraded the fuel filter inside the liquid oxygen tank to resolve this issue starting from Booster 11 and subsequent prototypes. Especially after the recent engine failure on Booster 11, they'll continue to closely monitor and strengthen these upgrades. Finally, a change Elon Musk himself has acknowledged is the re-entry profile of the Super Heavy Booster 12. After successfully landing both stages in the ocean, SpaceX now aims to land using the Mechazilla arm starting from Flight 5, beginning with Super Heavy Booster 12. With comprehensive plans to upgrade the engines and hot staging system, along with proven landing capability from recent flights, SpaceX is determined to validate the effectiveness of this new landing method, a feat no other organization has achieved before. As Elon revealed in a live stream, he estimates a 50% chance of Mechazilla catching the rocket. If the booster detects any issues, it will divert and safely crash into the ocean. This automatic feature ensures the safety of the launch tower. In preparation for Flight 6, 
SpaceX is also constructing a new launch tower, with completion nearing. Leveraging their experience in building previous towers, SpaceX aims to have two operational launch towers for Flight 6. With these preparations, SpaceX is poised for a potentially pivotal landing mission in its history. Success in Flight 6 will demonstrate the company's technical prowess and propel it closer to achieving its ambitious goals of fully reusable rockets and advancing space exploration. The journey ahead for SpaceX teams is challenging. Through testing, problem-solving, and significant changes, SpaceX has achieved remarkable success over the years. This same approach will continue to guide them as they pave the way for humanity's interplanetary existence.